Hey what's up guys, this is Kazooie here and welcome to another video about the squads that I currently have or have used throughout this month and at this time we will be covering the month April. If you somehow missed out the previous months then there will be a link in the description down below to the month January, February and also March so you can check that video out if you are interested. So uh, we get things started off here with the Wallison squad as you can see it's pretty much a full Brazilian team with two silver players Michael Liete and Wallison of course the two five star skillers and the only two five star skillers that are in this squad and uh, um, it's a really really fun squad in my opinion the only player that wasn't really the best for me was Oscar this guy the upgraded version he was a little bit of a letdown for me so you can probably replace him for maybe another five star skiller or maybe another four star skiller who knows um, I decided to replace him for Robinho and he turned out very good so that is an option for you as well then we move on to the second team a full silver team there as you can see once again a lot of silvers there uh, up front with Wallace and Mike Conliete and also Morias and this team was basically built around Morias uh, I use this formation simply because I want to use a lot of center attacking mids and yeah the defense is very very good with Kolker and Canoe and the left back Van Damme he's very very tall so he can defend those back post headers very well same goes for the right back Katarine very decent the center def center defensive mids are very decent as well Medel and also Van Kay. and then this guy he is so so good he's only four star skills but he's just I really really liked him he's left footed he has a very very good shot and dribbling with him is so so fun so you can maybe replace him for another 5 star skill and maybe Lincoln or maybe even someone else if you don't like Vitor Jr but uh, this is a team that I would highly recommend all the links will be down in the description down below so you can check it out on Fodded and see uh, how much it costs so yeah we move on to the third team and um, this team was built around Corona the Mexican 5 star skiller plays in the Dutch league the Eredivisie and it was pretty difficult to build this team because there aren't that many good players that you can link him up with but luckily enough there was an inform that time around as you can see inform Tadic plays a center forward in the uh, false nine formation which is a formation I really really like this year in ultimate team but the team overall wasn't really one of my favorites um, Tadic was a big letdown for me I expected him to be the playmaker of the team since he's a center forward but he wasn't really that noticeable unfortunately um, he scored a few goals but most of them were rebounds which was a shame so um, yeah that's pretty much Tadic but luckily enough Corona scored a few goals and he's a very very fun player on ultimate team maybe you can replace uh, Tadic with his second inform because I think his second inform is out right now as well I think it's a center attacking mid so you can maybe even play Tadic as a center mid or something but um yeah it's a fun squad but it wasn't really one of my favorites to be fair so yeah we move on to the fourth squad and um, this squad is um i think comparable to the second one it has a bit of a premier league defense and then um, yeah a lot of brazil was up front mainly because um of the five star skills of course but uh, yeah once again the defense was very solid the first time i used okore was in a different squad and he was a letdown for me but this time he was very very good so i really liked him especially uh, with Kolker, very good center back duo uh, the right back and the left back were very decent as well and then the center defensive mids are very very good i think newton the uh, left center defensive mid has a team of the season card as well so you can maybe even replace him with that, with that version of him or something then uh, the other center defensive mid is Wellington plays for Sao Paulo has four star skill moves very good pace 83 I do believe and also around the 70 defending 73 defending which is very nice as well and then the center attacking mids once again we have Morias and Michael Leite Michael Leite with a 91 pace of course and also five star skill moves and then the two strikers uh, we have Wallison and uh, Jobson in my opinion the two best silver strikers they are very good good finishing as well and of course five star skill moves so that is pretty much that team you can maybe switch the formation around to the 4-2-3-1 formation or something or maybe even a different one but uh, yeah the 4 triple 2 formation is in my opinion a very good uh, formation to skill with so yeah we move on to this team in the 4-3-2-1 uh, formation with uh, McKay Steven as uh, the five star skiller Ben Arfa and also Morais once again and this team was also very very good it is a bit of a mix between some of the gold players and silver players and uh, the left back is a player that you have to look out for Andre Santos his long shots are absolutely ridiculous and his free kicks as well but um, the defense overall is very good with Dede. The first time I used him, he was very good. Even though he's not the fastest, 68 pace, he, uh, he does the job. Cahill, in my opinion, also a very good player. You can maybe even replace him for his team this season. Same goes for Petrček, who is just overpowered on this game. Uh, right back, Mika Richards, and he's amazing as well. You can maybe replace him for Walker if you like to have a faster right back. But Mika Richards is so, so good. He can easily clear those back post headers with his 88 heading. And then the forwards, uh, we have McKay Steven, Good Willie, and Banarfa. Good Willie, he's very good. Uh, four stars Gilmus and has actually surprisingly good finishing as well scored a lot of goals for me and McKay Steven is just amazing as well then uh, we move on to this team and um, this team was built around the uh, Colombian five-star skiller McNally Torres and for some reason this team just played terrible for me 
Maybe it was because of the formation, maybe it was because of the players that I used. I think the midfield was maybe a little bit too attacking with Inform, Thiago Neves, Guarin and also with Ortiga. Um, I probably should have gone with the uh, the other formation, the 4 one 2 one 2 one and then like a center defensive mid rather than another center mid because Guarin has high attacking work rates I do believe and medium defensive so yeah that is maybe why I got hit on counters a lot so yeah it's a, it's not one of my favorite teams also a problems with finishing especially with Torres I went on so many skill runs but I just couldn't hit the target got either blocked off by one of his defenders or just went wide which was a shame as well and the same pretty much went with Jobson and Renteria that partnership duo isn't really the best um, I used the Renteria a lot though because um, he's a good player that you can link up with Moreno the 5 star skiller but um, yeah Renteria played bad in his team as well so what I decided to do sell the team on and try this team in the uh, 4 3 2 1 formation which is a formation I really really like and uh, yeah as you can see it's pretty much a full Colombian side apart from Abate of course uh, he links up with the Zapata and Guarín to get the full chemistry and then the weak link in this team is of course the goalkeeper Ospina he's terrible don't use him if you like to build this team it's not really a special team but if you like to build a Colombian team don't use Ospina use Zapata and set the uh, silver goalkeeper place in the Colombian league I think very tall very good so he's much better than Ospina he's absolutely terrible so we move into the final squad and this was actually one of my favorite squads to play with uh, it's a bit of a mix between some of the players from the Greek league the Bundesliga and from the Eredivisie as you can see also two team of the season players Manolas who is so good he only goes for 14k as high defensive work rates really good stats for a center back who's 81 rated and also blue card that's what people like of course blue card so uh, yeah he's definitely a player that you can uh, maybe try out if you like to uh, then the other center back is so Cortes, also very very good and then the center forward Boateng he surprised me a lot he only has three star skill moves but he scored so many goals for me uh, Quincy is also very good but yeah his finishing is in my opinion not the best uh, when it comes to finishing anyway because doing skill moves with him is so so smooth and he can pull them off like it's nothing but um, yeah finishing with him is a bit of a problem so that's the only letdown with Quincy and then uh, we move on to the left wing team of the season Memphis Depay he's absolutely amazing scored two awesome free kicks for me his price tag is almost 600k which I think is not worth it I think is price is maybe around 200k 300k that would be the perfect price for him but um yeah if you'd like to try him out then of course give him a go because you can always sell him on so um yeah guys that is pretty much the video hope you liked it uh, if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and of course if we can hit a thousand likes that would be absolutely awesome so i'd like to thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you guys later Bye bye